Well, let me, let me just say, you know, laminate's been around for a very long time. It's extremely, extremely durable. In fact, if you go to a diner in America, for example, you'll still see a laminate from the 1950s on a table. So in that, in that regard, it's a very sustainable material and sustainable product. The thing that we can do today technologically is that we can print more interesting and more extreme kind of, uh, uh, how can I say, decoration on the laminate. What I like about the whole laminate is for two reasons. One, it's a very democratic material. It's very inexpensive. So it's, you can do many, many things with it. Two, it's very high performing. Three is I can build a very decorative world, but a decoration for me that's about decoration that speaks about now, about the time we live now, not decoration of the past. I would live here any day over, over almost any house in the world. Can you imagine living here? I call it digi, uh, digi pop. Uh, language. I wrote a book on Tashin. I showed 300 different digital images of different decoration that is trying to capture the age we live. Now, if we analyze decoration historically, decoration always talked about the civility of a time, the religion of the time, you know, basically the human behavioral aspects of the time. So, new decoration today should speak about our time. And what is our time? Our time is digital, it's highly communicative, it's a shrinking world, it's full of data, it's full of information. So in turn, I think decoration today should speak about this new information age. So that's the decorations and the ornamentation I'm trying to develop. Well, I think, I think let me just say, design is uh, performance, it's, it's inseparable function and, and, and aesthetics. And I think in a way that's the problem I think for a larger audience is that they feel that design is something that doesn't work. But design should work seamlessly. You know, and then at the same time it can increase our pleasure, it can increase our emotions, it can uh, grant us a better life, it can make us feel more alive, it can give us energy, it can inspire us. All the floors of my bathroom are like this. Uh, all my entire kitchen is like the pink one over there. If a designer is going to go and shape the world, they better believe in what they're doing. You know, I, I live what I do. You know, Saloni at one time was the furniture industry, and it was more of a place for the furniture business. Now Saloni has become a massive, global scaled festivity to celebrate this new enlightenment of design around the world. I love color. I, I, I think that the human eye can see 16, distinguish 16,000 colors. It's an amazing sensorial quality that we have as human beings, like taste. And a world without color is like bland food. I don't know, I don't know. You know, I think that for me, the world is phenomenally inspiring. And I'm working in 32 countries. And I find it that I get very excited about having the opportunity to see the way the world is changing firsthand, you know, on every level, from an economic and business level to a social level to a, I don't know how you would say, to a kind of anthropological level. The world is becoming a one, it's really shrinking, and there's something very beautiful about it. And I think what's beautiful about it is we as human beings are starting to understand and accept human beings that are not like us. So all these borders and boundaries are breaking down and religion is breaking down and all these cultural differences are breaking down and hopefully we're going to do without jingoism and without patriotism and we're going to realize that we're all the same. You know, we're all the same and the beauty is each one of us individually are different. Not difference by color or creed or borders or cultures, but just by our fingerprint. That's the beauty. That's the new world in a way. This is how it is. It, you know, a hundred years from now, the world is going to be so mixed. You know, when people say to me, you know, what is Italian design or what is American design or what is Japanese design, it doesn't matter anymore. As long as design is moving in a positive direction, as long as it's evolving us globally and humanly. And design has to be, at the end of the day, human. It's for us. It's not for museums. It's not for, you know, uh, nice photographs. It's not. It's for us to be involved and interface every day. Thank you.